Jungle. Hello everyone, welcome back to today's show with a new episode today. I am James, your host, and a special guest all the way from Suriname, here with me. He started writing when he was only 8 years old and debuted as a teenager of just 17 in 2011. With his first book, he completed writing in English titled Talented. Please welcome to the one and only Rain. Welcome to today's show, how have you been? I'm doing great, how are you? Fine. How long have you been uh, studying abroad now? It has been like three and a half years that I've been uh, in Indonesia, that I have been living abroad and I have been living in Indonesia. My first year I spent my time, my, my education in, uh, in Bali. I studied um, Balinese dance. Mm -hmm. And uh, my second, starting my second, I moved to Padang, Sumatra, yeah. where I am studying my bachelor degree oh. program. From what I know is that you use a word as an expression for your own words starting at a young age. You are a writer, a songwriter and also a blogger. With today's topic more than just word, I would like to ask you how did all started with your uh, writing career? It all started with one dream of becoming an actor one day. Um, so, but becoming an actor in the base of acting in my own stories so that is how I decided to uh, write stories. My very first, um, I cannot really say inspiration but one of the first movies that really inspired me to start writing was Harry Potter, mm -hmm. the very first. And uh, that is how I started writing in English and because I like um, English although it's not my first language. Um, at the age of 13, I started making contacts with uh, producers, publishers, but um, none of them accepted me. And that is how I actually moved to the writing world, mm -hmm. the, the book industry. I got in contact with this very amazing person who is very famous and successful in the writing business. Um, he guided me further and I published my very first book in 2007, no, 2011 when I was just 17. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that is how I got into the writing industry. Okay. Don't be afraid we should publish in 2017 and you hard copy in 2018. Is that a story about a young Indonesian boy who got lost in, in South Korea and touched by a Korean famous actor? Yeah, that's indeed right. Mm -hmm. The story, why you have this inspiration to write a story K drama, and why you continue? Um, I got this inspiration because I was very, I cannot say addicted. I, I'm a huge fan of the Korean entertainment business. Um, I like um, K dramas and K pop a lot. So mm -hmm. that that actually inspired me to start writing. Um, a key drama book by myself, uh -huh. but the process of writing the book itself took like three years only by thinking and then as I started writing, I, um, it took me like two months, two months only to complete the whole story. Oh, mm -hmm. and what, what is Don't Be Afraid is about? Don't Be Afraid tells a story about a teenager, an Indonesian teenager mm -hmm. who went to South Korea but he got lost. Um, he got actually he got left behind and lost in uh, in in Seoul, mm -hmm. where he bumped into this famous actor, and the famous actor he thought that at first that it's just a fan, but then later on as he wanted to leave the famous actor by car, he accidentally had an accident with him with uh -huh. the teenage boy for just crossing a road uh, out of blue, and after paying. <clears throat> Paying all the bills, the hospital bills, where he had to stay, he noticed that there was something wrong with this guy, mm -hmm. with this teenager, and that is how he decided to take care of him, to find out more about him, his whereabouts, and to help him um, go back home. Mm -hmm. That's that, that's most of the that, that's like the basic part of the story. 
and the stories related on you and how much? Um, it's not very really related to me personally. It's just like between the scale of one to ten, I would say maybe five because of the characters. Mm -hmm. So I put my own personal feelings into the book. I put my own. I separated my own personal feelings. Mm -hmm into different characters. Yeah. That is how I did it. There are people in Indonesia already read your book? Yeah, I have um, students who have read my book. For the one who would like to purchase your book, where they can do it? Uh, no, nowadays they can find it electronic, which mm -hmm. is ebook style. Yeah, as an ebook on Amazon Kindle. Mm -hmm. For just two ninety nine. Well, thanks a lot for being here, Rain. I wish all you all the best and uh, rise up in whatever you do. Well, thank you so much for having me, though. As you know now, Don't Be Afraid is available on Amazon in Kindly, and you can purchase yours and carry yours digital wherever you go. And thank you all to watching today's show. I will be kind for the others, and bye.